we wanted to test out Zyrus, the writhing storm, to see if it could hold its own at the CDH table. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Before we continue, we wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor, HelloFresh. Whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Join America's number one meal kit today and say hello to your most delicious year yet. HelloFresh has fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you like delivered right to your door. HelloFresh has more options to support your wellness journey than ever before. Dig into their biggest menu yet with 45 plus dinner options and even more market items that suit any healthy lifestyle. This time of the year, everyone is looking to revamp their eating habits and start the year on the right track. Let HelloFresh be your partner for a wholesome 2024 with health forward options like calorie smart and protein smart recipes. Click on the link in the description or use my code and get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. A big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. First we have Tia, the winner from the Chaos Tournament's charity stream piloting Zyrus the Writhing Storm. This deck seeks to use its commander and force draws to create armies of snakes. It then burns out the table with effects like impact tremors or swings with a massive army. Next, we have Emma, piloting niv mizzet Perun. This deck seeks to control the table with lots of removal and interaction. It then uses its commander for advantage and closes out the game with a curiosity effect. After that, we have Johnny, another winner from the Chaos Tournament's charity stream, piloting Yuriko, the Tiger Shadow. This deck seeks to attack with a bunch of small creatures, including ninjas. It then uses Yuriko for card advantage while draining the table in the process. Finally, we have Zeb, piloting Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. This deck uses its commander to gain mana advantage as soon as possible. It then assembles aristocrat style loops to drain the table. Without further ado, let's kick off this rude, rugged, ridiculous ramble. Tia won the Mirror Reflection Challenge and gets to start us off. Tia draws a card for turn and plays a forest. She casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Gemstone Caverns. She casts a Felwar Stone. She passes. Emma draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. She casts a Mox Diamond, discarding an Ancient Tomb. She casts Counterbalance. She passes. Johnny draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a tandem lookout. Then Johnny fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Johnny ends his turn. Zeb draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Soul Ring. Zeb passes to Tia. Tia draws and casts Birds of Paradise. She casts Goblin Bombardment. Tia ships the turn. Emma draws and casts a Mystic Remora. She passes to Johnny. Johnny draws and plays a Homeward Path. He casts a Null Rod. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Emma reveals a Deflecting Swan, then draws a card. Johnny passes. Zeb draws and plays a Scrubland. He casts Draneth Magistrate. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a Lotus Petal. Zeb passes. Tia draws, plays an Ancient Tomb, and ends the turn. During her upkeep, Emma pays to keep her Remora. She draws and passes to Johnny. Johnny draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. Zeb draws and plays a Swamp. He casts his Commander, Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals a Gilded Drake, countering the spell. He moves to combat and attacks Emma with Draneth Magistrate. Emma takes it, and Zeb passes. Tia draws and plays an Ottawara, Soaring City as her land for turn. She casts Narset, Parter of Veils. Counterbalance and Remora trigger. Emma draws, then reveals a Treasonous Ogre. Tia activates Narset's ability, looking at the top four, revealing a wild growth into her hand. Tia ends her turn. At the end of Tia's turn, Johnny flashes in an Orcish Bowmasters. It enters and targets Birds of Paradise. In response, Tia activates Goblin Bombardment, sacrificing Birds of Paradise, killing Orcish Bowmasters. Then Johnny amasses one. The turn moves to Emma. During her upkeep, Emma lets her Remora die. She draws and casts a Lotus Petal. She passes. Johnny draws and moves to combat. He attacks Emma with his Orc army. Emma takes it, and in his second main phase, Johnny casts Demonic Tutor. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals a Mana Drain, countering the spell. Johnny passes. Zeb draws and casts a Mana Vault. He ships the turn. Tia draws and casts Wild Growth. She activates Narset's ability, looking at the top four, revealing a Mana Vault into her hand. She taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Mana Vault. Tia ends her turn. Emma draws and passes, discarding to hand size. Johnny draws and casts Chains of Mephistopheles. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a Gush. He moves to combat and attacks Tia with his Orc army. Tia takes it and Johnny passes to Emma. Zeb draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. Tia draws and casts Elvish Mystic. Tia ends her turn. Emma draws and passes, discarding the hand size. Johnny draws and moves to combat. He attacks Emma with his Orc army. Emma takes it and Johnny passes. Zeb draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He taps it, giving Emma a spirit to help cast his commander, Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a mental misstep. Zeb ships the turn. Tia draws and passes. At the end of Tia's turn, Johnny casts Consign, targeting Elvish Mystic. In response, Tia activates Goblin Bombardment, sacrificing Mystic and killing Johnny's Orc army. The turn moves to Emma. Emma draws and passes, discarding to hand size. Johnny draws and ends his turn. Zeb draws and casts Necropotence. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a Fierce Guardianship, countering the spell. Zeb sighs and passes the turn to Tia. Tia draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. Tia passes. 
Emma draws, takes no actions, and passes, discarding to hand size. Johnny draws and casts Tetsuka Umizawa, Fugitive. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a fluster storm. Johnny passes. Zeb draws and plays a bright climb pathway. Zeb ends his turn. Tia draws, takes no actions, and ships the turn to Emma. Emma draws and passes, discarding to hand size. Johnny draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zeb with Tetsuko. Zeb declares no blocks and, in response, Johnny Nichitsu's in Dokuchi Silencer bounty Tetsuko back to his hand. Before damage, Zeb casts Deadly Relic for its alternate cost, targeting Silencer. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals a wooded foothills. Silencer is exiled, and Johnny gives the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and casts a bargain, beseech the mirror, sacrificing Mana Vault as an additional cost. Then Zeb fetches up a Savine's Reclamation into exile, casting it, targeting Necropotence in his graveyard. Lotho triggers, and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Then Zeb returns Necropotence to the battlefield. He activates Necropotence 10 times, paying 10 life, exiling 10 cards. Zeb moves to his end step, and Necropotence triggers. In response, Tia taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Snap, targeting Dranith Magistrate. Magistrate is bounced, and Tia untaps two lands. Still in response, Tia taps Ancient Tomb and uses her floating mana to cast an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Lotho triggers, and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Then all of Tia's opponent's non-land permanents are bounced. Then Zeb puts the Necro cards into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size. During Tia's upkeep, Zeb taps Forbidden Orchard, giving him a spirit to cast Silence. In response, Tia hard casts Force of Will, countering the spell. During her draw step, she takes a damage from her mana vault. In her main phase, Tia casts her commander, Zyrus, the Writhing Storm. She taps Ancient Doom to help cast Sylvan Library. Tia passes. Emma draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. She casts a Lotus Petal. She casts a Gilded Drake. It enters and exchanges control of Tia's Zyrus. Emma gives the turn to Johnny. Johnny draws and recasts Tetsuko. Johnny ends his turn. Zeb draws and recasts his commander, Lotho. He casts a Soul Ring. Lotho triggers and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. He casts Lurus of the Dream Den. He casts Mana Vault from his graveyard through Lurus. Zeb passes. During Tia's draw step, Sylvan Library and Mana Vault trigger. She takes a damage through her Mana Vault and then draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. Cyrus triggers and Emma creates two snakes. In her main phase, Tia plays a Taiga for turn. She taps her Ancient Tomb to help cast Glenhorn Buccaneer. She casts Mystic Remora. Lotho triggers and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Tia ships the turn to Emma. Emma draws and casts Counterbalance. Remora triggers and Tia draws. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a snake. Emma ends her turn. Johnny draws and recasts Chains of Mephistopheles. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Emma reveals a spell pierce, then Tia draws. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a snake. Change resolves and Johnny passes. Zeb draws and plays a silent clearing. He flashes back Savine's Reclamation, targeting Necropotence in his graveyard. Remora triggers and Tia discards, then draws through chains. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a snake. Then Necropotence enters the battlefield. Zeb copies Savine's, returning Recruiter of the Guard from his graveyard to the battlefield. Recruiter enters and Zeb fetches up a Leonin Relic Warder into his hand. He taps silent clearing to cast Leonin Relic Warder. Lotho triggers and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Leonin enters, targeting his own Necropotence. In response, Zeb activates Necropotence seven times, paying seven life, exiling seven cards. Then Warder exiles Necropotence. He casts Dance of the Dead from his graveyard through Loris. Remora triggers and Tia discards, then draws. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a snake. Dance of the Dead enters and Zeb returns Kambal, console of allocation from his graveyard to the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Johnny with Loris. Johnny takes it, and Zeb gains three. Zeb moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size. During her upkeep, Tia pays to keep her Remora. During her draw step, she takes a damage from her Mana Vault and then ignores her Sylvan Library trigger. In her main phase, she taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Imperial Recruiter. In enters, and she fetches up a Malcolm, keen eyed Navigator, into her hand. She plays a Cephalic Colosseum as her land for turn. She casts Malcolm. Lotho triggers, and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Tia moves to combat, and in response, Emma casts Submerge for its alternate cost, targeting Glenhorn Buccaneer. Kambal and Remora trigger, Tia discards, then draws. Glenhorn and Zyrus triggers, Emma creates a snake, and Glenhorn deals one damage to each opponent. Malcolm triggers, and Tia creates three treasures. In response, Tia casts Veil of Summer. Counterbalance and Kambal triggers, Tia loses two and Zeb gains two, then Emma reveals a spell pierce, countering the spell. With no other actions, Submerge resolves, putting Glenhorn onto the top of Tia's library. With nothing else, Tia passes to Emma. Emma draws and moves to combat. She attacks Tia with all six snakes and her spirit. Tia blocks three snakes and then takes the rest. Emma passes. Johnny draws and moves to combat. He attacks Narset with Tetsuko. Narset dies, and in his second main phase, Johnny cycles Windcaller Raven, discarding and drawing through chains. Zyrus triggers, and Emma creates a snake. He plays a Flooded Strand for turn. Johnny gives the turn to Zeb. During his draw step, Zeb takes the damage through his mana vault. In his main phase, he casts Unmarked Grave. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals an island. Remora triggers, and in response, Zeb casts a Bands, targeting Emma. Counterbalance and Remora triggers, and Tia discards and draws. Zyrus triggers, and Emma creates a snake. In response to Counterbalance, Johnny cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Watery Grave onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts Vampiric Tutor. Kambal and Remora triggers. 
Tia ignores Remora to keep the cards into her hand, then Johnny loses two and Zeb gains two. Then Johnny fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Still in response, Emma casts Mystical Tutor. Kambal triggers and Emma loses two and Zeb gains two. She fetches up a snap onto the top of her library. Then Emma reveals a snap through counterbalance, countering abeyance. Then unmarked grave resolves and Zeb fetches up a corpse knight into his graveyard. Next, Zeb flashes back Cabal Therapy, sacrificing Leon and Relic Warder, naming Glenhorn Buccaneer, targeting Tia. Relic Warder triggers and Zeb returns Necropotence to the battlefield. Remora triggers and Tia discards Glenhorn Buccaneer and draws. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a snake. Then Tia reveals her hand and discards nothing. Zeb moves to combat and attacks Tia with Lotho, Lurus, Recruiter, and Cabal. Tia blocks Cabal with Gilded Drake, Lurus with Malcolm, and Lotho with Imperial Recruiter. Then Tia takes one, Zeb gains three, and the creatures die. In his second main phase, Zeb taps Silent Clearing and Forbidden Orchard, giving Emma a spirit to help cast the One Ring. Remora triggers, and Tia ignores it. Ring enters, and Zeb gains protection from everything. Zeb activates Necropotence two times, paying two life, exiling two cards. He moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. Zeb passes the turn to Tia. During her upkeep, Tia lets her Remora die. She draws and ignores her Sylvan Library. She holds open mana and passes the turn. Emma draws and moves to combat. She attacks Johnny with six snakes. Johnny takes it, and Emma passes. Johnny draws and casts out Mana Crypt. He moves to combat and attacks Emma with Tetsuko. In response, Johnny Nijitsu Zen Nashi Moon Sage's Scion bouncing Tetsuko back to his hand. Emma takes it, Nashi triggers, and in response, Johnny casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Temporal Trespass onto the top of his library. With Nashi's ability still in the stack, Zeb flashes in a Necromancy. It enters, and Zeb returns Dranath Magistrate to the battlefield. Then each player exiles the top card of the library. In his second main phase, Johnny plays a Steam Vents from Exile through Nashi into play tapped. Johnny passes. At the end of Johnny's turn, Zeb activates the One Ring, adding a Burden Counter, then discarding and drawing through Chains, exiling the discarded card through Necropotence. Zyrus triggers and Emma creates a Snake. Then Zeb sacrifices Necromancy, and the turn moves to Zeb. During his upkeep, Zeb loses a life to the One Ring. He skips his draw step due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield. He taps Silent Clearing to cast Vanishing Verse, targeting Counterbalance. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals, and is it Signet, countering the spell. Next, Zeb casts Eldrazi Displacer. He casts Reanimate, targeting Kambal in his graveyard. In response, Emma pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering the spell. He activates Necropotence five times, paying five life, exiling five cards. Zeb moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. He passes to Tia. During her draw step, Tia takes a damage through her Mana Vault. In her main phase, she plays an Emergence Zone. Tia passes. Emma draws and casts Is It Signet. She moves to combat and attacks Zeb with seven snakes and two spirits. Zeb blocks two snakes and takes the rest. Emma ships the turn. During his upkeep, Johnny wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Crippling Fear. In response, Tia activates Goblin Bombardment, sacrificing Gilded Drake, pinging Johnny for one. Still in response, Zeb activates Weldrazi Displacer, flickering Nashi. Then Crippling Fear resolves, Johnny names Rat, and wipes most of the board. He recasts Tetsuko. Johnny ships the turn. During his upkeep, Zeb loses a life to the One Ring. He skips his draw step due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he plays an Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth as his land for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. Counterbalance triggers, and Emma reveals a Forbidden Orchard, countering the spell. He casts Abdel Adrian, Gorian's Ward. Adrian enters, and Zeb exiles the One Ring, Necropotence, and Mana Vault, creating three soldiers. He casts a Springleaf Drum. He taps Silent Clearing for Black through Urborg and Forbidden Orchard, giving Tia Spirit to help cast Academe's Awakening, where X equals two. In response, Emma casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Awakening, countering the spell. Zeb passes to Tia. During her draw step, Tia takes a damage through her Mana Vault. In her main phase, she plays a Command Tower. She casts Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Zyrus. Tia ships the turn. Emma draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. She casts Treasonous Ogre. She pays 9 life through Ogre, adding 3 red. She casts Goblin Matron. It enters and she fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into her hand. She pays 6 life, adding 2 red to cast Dockside. Dockside enters and, in response, Tia cracks her treasures. Then Emma creates 10 treasures. She cracks treasures to help cast her commander, niv at Perun. Emma moves to combat and, in response, Tia casts March of Swirling Mist targeting Emma Zyrus, niv Mizzet, and Abdel Adrian. All 3 phase out, and then Emma passes the turn. During his upkeep, Johnny wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Emma with Tetsuko. Emma declares no blocks and, in response, Johnny ninjutsus in his commander, Yuriko the Tiger Shadow, bouncing Tetsuko to his hand. Emma takes it, Yuriko triggers, and Johnny reveals a Mystic Remora into his hand with each opponent losing one. In his second main phase, Johnny recasts Tetsuko. Counterbalance triggers and Emma reveals a Scalding Tarn. Johnny gives the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and casts Yogmoth's Will. In response, Johnny casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering the spell. Next, Zeb casts Peer into the Abyss. It resolves and Zeb discards and draws 26 through Chains of Mephistopheles and loses half of his life. Zyrus triggers 26 times and Tia creates 26 snakes. Zeb moves to combat and attacks John with Abdel and two soldiers. John blocks both soldiers and then takes the rest. Zeb passes the turn. At the end of Zeb's turn, Tia casts Worldly Tutor. In response, Johnny pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering the spell. 
the turn moves to Tia. Tia draws and moves to combat. She attacks everyone with all of her snakes. Emma blocks three and they all take the rest. Zeb and Johnny die and Emma goes to three life. In her second main phase, she sacrifices three snakes to Goblin Bombardment, killing Emma, and Tia wins the game. With the amount of cards that people draw in CDH, Cyrus can gain a lot of advantage quickly. There are some areas where it could probably shore up some weaknesses, but overall this commander definitely did work this game. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Counterbalance. This card stayed on board most of the game and it did so much work while it was there. Even when it wasn't being triggered, it was keeping players from playing certain cards due to what was last revealed. It is a strong enchantment that warps the game the moment it resolves. Thank you so much for watching and watch this video to see if Tatiova is still CDH viable.